So my uh, love affair with my Jeep Wrangler was pretty short-lived. Bought it last August, had it for about six months. It didn't take me long after I bought it before I realized, although it was a ton of fun and really great off-road, it was not going to work for me as a daily driver. It just wasn't compatible with all my hunting and fishing. So luckily the resale value was so amazing. I was able to sell it about six months after I bought it for only about a thousand dollars less than I paid. So um, the pandemic has caused the used car market to go completely bonkers and I was able to use that to my advantage. Ended up leasing a Honda Ridgeline, a truck I've been reading about for years, researching for years. It's by far the smoothest, quietest, most comfortable truck I've ever had, vehicle of any kind I've ever had. Gets really great gas mileage, low 20s for a truck. And uh, it's got a ton of really incredible features, but probably my favorite is the in-bed trunk here um, and the dual action tailgate. It's just so absolutely perfect for, for kayak fishing and hunting. So I'm really, really pleased with how all this worked out. I've been wanting, wanted to get a Wrangler my whole life. And uh, so I'm glad I did it. Glad I scratched that itch and got it out of my system. And now I'm back to leasing a truck, which is definitely what is best for me. So it's the day after my first fishing trip of the year. I went out to the Bayou of the Grand River uh, yesterday. Did really, really well um, for both crappie and largemouth bass. And uh, today I'm at a lake, which shall remain nameless on Easter Sunday before I have Easter dinner with my family. So let's uh, go out there and see what we can do. I did really well here last April, early April, when the water was real cold, using some lipless crankbaits in the deeper water. So caught some pike and big bass last year here. So. Let's give it a shot. God, I love this ginormous trunk. It's so awesome. Uh, paddle across this pond and then through a channel to get to the lake. What a beautiful day. It's going to be about 70 degrees today. Pretty shocking for Easter. not supposed to be any wind today and yet here it is blowing at least 10 miles per hour out of the east so the forecasters were completely wrong about that As a uh, fisherman and hunter and motorcyclist, meteorologists being wrong has caused me an awful lot of grief over the years. It's amazing how much technology they have and how inaccurate they still are most of the time. Even 24 hours before the forecast is due, they still can't get it right. Even with supercomputers, Drives me nuts. Well, I'm approaching the northeast corner of the lake. This is where I did so well last year in early April. Fishing the deep water in the drop-offs with lipless crankbaits. Caught a lot of big three, four plus pound largemouth bass and some big pike. Lost, lost a few lures to northern pike that cut my line. Definitely worth it though. Really curious to see if this spot is just as good this year, a year later. Sure is a gorgeous lake. Not very many houses on it. Very little boat traffic usually when I'm here, which is what I like for me, fishing, hunting, Riding motorcycles, it's all about getting away and being by myself. Wow, 
second cast here and I got my first fish on it feels good this dime I remembered my net yesterday I forgot it so looks like I'm gonna need it for this fish looks like a big bass what a great way to start the day here but Wow, what a fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What a spot. Oh, gosh. That is so awesome. Wow, what a way to start. Spectacular fish. Looks like I'm gonna need to use my pliers to get them off. Okay. Let's get them off hooks here so I can get a better view with the camera. There we go. Right in the bone there. That is a fantastic way to start. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Let's let you go back. Whew. Let's try that again, huh? That's amazing. I can't believe I come back here a year later about the exact same time of year and the same technique is working in the same spot. Pretty awesome. There's one. Fish number two. Oof. Feels good again. Took a few casts to get number two. Another big fish. Another big bass. Well, maybe I can lift them. Looks like I can. Oh yeah, awesome. What a fish. Another big fat mama. Wow, what a fish. Awesome. The spot is amazing. Thank you, sir, or ma'am. There she goes. Fish number three. Another good one. Another good bass. Maybe not as big as the first two. Nope. Little one. He's a fighter though. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Just a little one with the hell of a mate. I've seen the little ones cruising the shallow water. The sun is warming up this part of the lake. I've seen a few. Large mouths cru cruising around in this warm water looking for food. Oh, had another hit. Well, only caught four fish in about uh, a little over an hour of fishing. But for early spring, I will definitely take it, especially when the first two were pretty good sized fish. So, didn't catch any pike today, which is pretty surprising. I usually catch pike in this lake, so. All in all, that was a fantastic early spring quick kayak fishing trip. I think that's one of the best things about kayak fishing for me is it's so quick and easy to load and unload. You can take short trips. Uh, when you're dealing with a boat and everything involved in loading and unloading a boat, it just takes too long for real short trips. Not worth it. And of course, not to even mention all the maintenance involved with a boat motor, 
a trailer, the bearings, the tires, plating, the trailer, registering the boat, etc. etc. You don't have to do any of that with a kayak. And the cherry on top is the exercise I get every time I go. I absolutely love it. Even when the weather people are super wrong about the forecast. Like today, it's supposed to be calm winds and we got 10 to 15 mi mile per hour winds and 20 plus mile per hour gusts. So in spite of that, it was still fantastic to be out here. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching.